Shall we play a game? You're being disingenuous. You're saying, like, all these things are happening all the time, and we don't care about dead babies. Screw you. We do care about dead, dead babies. We Brian, we are screaming. Juan, it's not Dave, like we are dumb. We this are is smart not a people, uh, Juan, and we have been protecting Juan. ourselves. No, I just said that's why they are going to stop. Okay. 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 not dead because but of the fucking taillight. Nonetheless, that man it is, is true dead that white people can that drive the broken taillight and sometimes not be stopped. Uh, you you need to wake up. They stopped that a long time ago. I think you need to wake up. Van. So, so you, let me you, ask you, William Counselor. Let me ask you this. You when did you hear me have say? Have you ever met Jeff Sessions? When did you have hear? You yes, I have Jeff met Jeff Sessions. Sessions. Do you they know told that Scotty? Yes, they did. The these are the facts actually were in the case the that van? they presented. These were are the facts. Were you in the van? Um, I'm sorry. Were you? How do you know he didn't? My he point was put in the case. They followed the rules. They were negligent. No, they were not. You joke. You made the world round. You made the world. Round. I went and I actually spoke to a bloke who'd said, Round. You actually, look, this is about politics. Politics is about your views, about your passion. If this is something that you truly believe in, yeah, but this is actually something that, like, you actually really like about. Way more interesting than that, mate. You're saying the world's flat. Tell us. Strange game. The only winning move is not to play. The flat earth is both freedom and slavery for your mind. Flat earthers claim that the flat earth is a positive spiritual awakening, yet they turn around and call non-believers globetards or sheeple or idiots. Flat earthers claim that the mainstream system is full of lies and everything is the opposite, yet they fight every day for the flat earth to go mainstream. Flat Earthers claim that all celebrities are controlled or sellouts, yet they cheer like little children when the mainstream reports that Shaquille O'Neal or Tila Tequila mention the Flat Earth. Flat Earthers claim that modern science is a religion and all religions are part of the control system, yet they debate and argue with these same people as if the Flat Earth were itself a religion. Flat Earthers want everyone to get out of the matrix, yet they do nothing but debate and argue in the same system instead of learning how to live free from the matrix. It's a trap, and Flat Earthers are falling for it. The controllers of this world don't care if you know the truth about the shape of the earth or fake space, as long as you stay in their negative energy system, their matrix. The system feeds on negative energy, mostly in the form of fear or division, and the so-called flat earth movement is perpetuating this system. In order to follow the positive path of light and not the path of darkness or negative energy, we must turn away from the matrix and not look back. There are more than enough positive, well-researched videos on YouTube regarding the flat earth and fake space. After that, we are just feeding the beast when we take an adversarial approach. We think that we are exposing the mainstream political, academic, or science liars, but all we are really doing is creating more negative energy and feeding the same system we claim to be fighting. I will leave up my videos that are not too negative, but my future videos will focus on how to live outside the matrix as much as possible. The easiest and most effective way to exit the matrix is to grow your own food. Food equals freedom. Growing food is like printing money and anyone can do it. Whether you live on five acres, one acre, an urban lot, or an apartment, you can grow food. Even the health food industry has sold out to the corporations. All of the so-called organic companies have been bought out. Organic companies like Cascadian Farms, owned by General Mills, or Back to Nature, owned by Kraft, 
are selling you overpriced, industrially produced crap that is still nutrient deficient. Non-GMO this or organic that, it's all just marketing to them. They're still mass producing nutrient deficient food. Would you rather eat so-called organic chicken that is produced by the world's largest supplier, Tyson Foods, or an organic chicken that was raised on a local small-scale farm where there it was free range, ate a healthy diet, and was used symbiotically with the local farmer to till the field and produce fertilizer. Chickens are amazing and very easy to take care of. They eat bugs, till the land for compost and planting, they provide fertilizer, provide eggs for protein, and they're just fun to take care of. Fresh, local, sustainable, it's not as difficult as you would think. Being self-sufficient is the key to escaping the matrix. Growing your own food accomplishes this and at the same time connects you with the earth. You learn to respect and appreciate life. You work with nature instead of fighting against nature. You'll probably hear the term permaculture used to describe this lifestyle and mostly it is learning how to become self-sufficient through thrifty, organic, sustainable methods to create your own what is called a food forest or your own food supply. In my case, we have a basic average residential home. Anyone can do it, even urban farms can produce a ton of healthy, nutrient-dense, chemical-free food. Here we are growing chickens, quail, and a ton of crops, which include perennials such as katuk, an amazing spinach-like bush, and moringa trees, longevity spinach, and we have annuals such as beans, cucumbers, broccoli, collard greens, kale. In my next video I'll give a tour of exactly what crops we are growing and how we did it for next to nothing and also what we have learned from this process. It's definitely a trial and error, but it's also fun. There's so many variables to take into consideration depending on where you live and what you want to grow, but the change in attitude is amazing. Our goal is to be able to completely live off of what we grow. If you want to escape the negativity of the matrix and the conspiracy world, I would suggest that you start today and plant something. Watch some videos on how to get started and you'll see that the change in health and attitude are incredible. Basically, instead of focusing on the negativity of the matrix, we have turned our backs on that system and we focus on the positive light of this world. There is an imbalance in the world. You fix it by following the positive path of light. Slowly the light will grow as more people turn their backs on the matrix. The darkness will shrink in that case and balance will return. This is the point of most spiritual beliefs, to follow the path of righteousness, the path of the light, and to turn your back on the darkness. So I hope that this video was interesting. It may upset some people, but like I said, this is my course. I'm going to focus on things that are practical. I don't like to just sit there and talk things into the ground forever. You know, we know that the system is full of lies, and so what do you do with that? Do you argue and do you participate in the system or do you take a practical approach and figure out how to get out of the system and how to thrive out of the system, how to create your own system? So thank you so much for watching and adios. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and share it on your favorite social media sites. There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned and we'll see you back next time.